taste buds they come into the mic talking about the food they hate talking about the food they like two fools gonna fight but only one food can be right taste buds man yeah they come into the mic i'm talking taste buds hey taste buddies it's the taste buds podcast i'm joe and sal here How's it going? Oh, it's going good, and good. we just ate dinner. We did. We ate a lot of Chinese food. It was delicious. Yes. Very delicious. And now we were going to maybe maybe retire today, but then you kind of you kind of got my ire. Well, we have been talking. Uh, we've recorded a bunch of episodes today, actually over different days. You'll know they were recorded on different days because we're wearing different shirts and all of them. Mm-hmm. But uh, we were kicking around the idea for this episode all day. As you know from the title, it's Donuts versus Muffins or Muffins versus Donuts. Uh, You don't know who's who and who's on which team yet, but I will say Mm -hmm. the dumb son of a bitch (laughs) that picked muffins. That picked muffins. (laughs) (laughs) Really? I mean, um, I don't even understand. But anyway, we'll get to that. I'm taking, I, I'm taking the underdog today. Maybe that's the case. I'm taking muffins because God, you know, God, to be honest, I'm taking a muffin over a donut every time. A muffin, I, 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 I understand the power of donuts. I understand the, the, how popular they are and how much people love them and, and how the, there's a donut boom now with all these specialty donut places, not just your Dunkins and your Krispy Kremes, but you have all those, you know, amazing artisanal donut shops. The more I'm saying it, the more I understand how much I'm going to lose. <laughs> Here's the thing to me. A donut is a donut is a donut. And that's, I just feel a donut is you- a sugary puck. It's a bomb. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a donut. It's Sal. great. A donut, you can only have so many donuts. You do not. You eat a donut and you get a sugar rush you like can- you're doing heroin. Hold on a second. And then you have two donuts and you may as well t- cancel the plans for the rest of the Hold evening. Hold on a second. You can't move once you Hold eat two a donuts. A do- Listen to me. A donut's going to put you in the grave early if you eat it often. Donuts will put you in the grave. Okay. I said it. So, okay. Uh, now, I, I've got a lot to say about what you just said. First of all, you can only have so many donuts. Who's eating multiple muffins? What animal is sitting down and all having you need is one. two and three muffins in a city? All you need is one. That's insane. No, okay. people eat multiple donuts. You only need one muffin. And by the way, by the way, you want to talk about sugar? You want to talk about what's going to put you in an early grave? Muffin's going to do the same no. thing. But the donut is the devil that shows its horns, which I always respect more than the devil that conceals them. That's the truth. Wow. That's the truth. The muffin is so... You just called the, the muffin the devil that conceals its horns? It is horns? so bad for you. How about you? a delicious treat? Listen to me. Muffins are more of an art form, and I'll fight anyone on that. I'll oh, fight anyone on that's that. That's crazy. Okay? We, got a, we got a donut place over here. It's fair. It's fair. You know what they do, though? They think we don't know? They start with the same donut. It's a, just a donut ring, and then they just dress it differently. Really? Really? They're just dropping dough really? and oil, and they're waiting on a timer, and then they're just throwing creams really? and sugars and jellies the, uh, and powders and sprinkles, and all those things are great and everything, but if you're just a, a, a sugary hobo... I can't believe it. I can't believe the donut shop near the rock pile in Staten Island isn't awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the rock pile? You don't know Staten Island. <laughs> Listen to me. A muffin is for an, uh, a mature yeah. adult. All I That's see what a muffin is for. A the, muffin is for someone who's got his shit together. A muffin's for someone, a, a, a professional on the go. All I see out your window is a Don't pile of cinder blocks. <laughs> <laughs> and I drive no. by whenever I come here. I'm sorry, it's not where a I'm going to go oh when I'm thinking about God. donuts. Just eating a muffin is... I, I get excited just thinking about the ways I want to eat a muffin. A muffin is so great. It's divided into two parts yep. that are equally as amazing. Now, but now the start muffin. talking about how you can take it apart and put it in your pocket till it gets soft enough to eat. Uh, but and, 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 and you know, is, you can eat the a crown. Muffin, I or the, swear to you know, God, honestly, if you Google this, I can't be sure, but I I think Jesus might have invented muffins. I think Jesus did at some <laughs> point cook a muffin and it. What? Go ahead. A muffin. Go ahead. Okay. It's like it's like a cupcake, but it's but not, worse for you. No, it's not as bad as a cupcake. It's not as bad. It's worse for you. It's three times the size of a cupcake. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. No. 
Donuts is less. Oh my god, that no. spun me around. Yeah, but it's also half the size of a muffin. Oh, so here you do? now. Now he's complaining about the size that they're not too big. Oh, by the way, this is a big. bullshit stat. A muffin and a donut have to be judged particularly by that muffin and that donut. Muffins you, are muffin so. Be- Go, donuts I are want you to scam. look up. Donuts are scam. Hold on. Donuts are the same shit. Donuts are the same shit Hold repackaged. On. Let's so like you want some donut with powder. We get in, you want the same donut with jelly. Before we get into. Want to you know you don't believe that, Sal. I do believe it. You don't. Really, there's only really two donut creams. You don't. Bu- what? There's only two donut creams in the jelly, and then they just fro- it's glazed chocolate, but it's the same stuff. Before we and, and before, you know hold I, on, hold on a second, hold on a second. Before we get into the barrage of donut varieties that I'm going to lay on to you, yeah, I just want to see something just really quick before we get too far away from it. Pimp, do me a favor. Look up blueberry muffin calories. I'm just curious. You're looking up the king I'm, right now. You're looking up the Elvis of donuts. Yeah. Basically, what, essentially, what's your best donut? I'm sorry, of muffins. Hold on a second. Hold donut? on a second. Blueberry muffin, 467 calories, 39 grams of sugar, one gram of fiber. Uh, now, pimp, just for fun, let's call it a, a you- let's call it a Boston cream donut, the best of all the donuts, in my opinion. I'll go bl- bl- blueberry muffin versus Boston cream head to 300 calories. Thank you very much. Uh, first of What's all. What's going to put you in your grave first? You're just, but you're just pulling up blueberry muffin generic. It depends who makes that muffin. You can't just tell me what the calories are on a blueberry yeah. muffin. Well, you know. you're yeah. getting some fruit in there. There's nothing yeah, the, better. You know, you know oh, you can find all those keto you, blueberry muffins you think, everywhere you think there. You think uh, Boston cream donut is the best donut, correct? What? You think Boston cream donut is the best donut? Hands down, I think with bl- custard, not cream. The the one with the yellowy custard. Yellow, uh, yeah, not, not the white, like, not whipped the white. creamy I'm stuff. I'm with you. Yeah. And I do agree. That's probably one of the best donuts. It is the best donut, but it, in but my opinion. It's, it's, it's really not doing all that much. It's also an, it's also an eclair. <laughs> but don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> there are two types of muffins, quick bread or English muffins, and flat bread or American muffins. American muffins have round bases, rounded tops, and are usually sweet, but there are also savory kinds like cornbread muffins. English is none of the thing. Uh, Look, there's nothing. All right, I'm first of all, okay, me, so, I'm so, saying blueberry so, muffin is the best muffin. I agree. You're saying Boston cream donut is the best donut. Yeah. If I went, let me tell and you put something. A blueberry muffin against the Boston You've cream got donut. Three the blueberry muffin is going to you're insane, dominate. Sal. You. You're insane. Dominate. You, you think there's a better experience in eating some sugary, crusty? stale Boston You've cream got, donut versus you, a beautifully baked muffin fresh out of the oven that just rose to the heavens. I love... The, you know when it rises up, it's reaching for the heavens, Joe, okay? And you know when you do this? You have a slice the top right off and then you get two halves, the bottom and the yeah, top half. The consistency is know, different know, between know, both bites. Like to do There's it, a know, beautiful hard outer shell that then gives way to a soft top and then the bottom is even different and you ever spread butter yeah. in between the top and the bottom and then yeah. you heat that up and you have a yeah. buttered, hot... A blueberry muffin? Yeah. And you're telling me a Boston cream donut is better than that? All right, then I'll eat a blueberry donut. I don't give a shit. <laughs> you're telling me that a that a fresh baked hot piping out of the oven blueberry muffin with a little butter on it. I see what you're doing because you're taking what you're doing is you're taking an international icon and you're trying to reduce my entire food category because my favorite in my food category can't compete with the give icon. Give me another donut you like. I love, how about this? How about this? I'm going to go a different way with the argument. You've got three muffins at best. Blueberry, cranberry, maybe a poppy seed. After that, is anybody still listening? I know I'm not. (laughs) Has anybody ever bought one of those pumpernickel muffins that are sitting there? Does anybody give a shit about a chocolate muffin? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. I was going to say it myself, but you went there. (laughs) Nobody cares about a chocolate muffin? Nobody cares. Really? I have. Really? Go into a a bodega in Manhattan at 11.30 a.m. and see what muffins are left. What about cornbread? blueberry. What about apple cinnamon? I've never even seen an apple seed. Cranberry cinnamon. orange. Lemon poppy seed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chocolate on chocolate seed. on chocolate. When what have are you, you saying? ever ordered a chocolate on chocolate muffin? Chocolate, when? chocolate muffin on chocolate chips all day. When have you ever ordered it? Be honest. I mean, whenever I order muffins, I've had that. What do you mean? You're acting like I don't eat or order a chocolate muffin? It's, you are you you loft into it. You well, you just I don't said eat the a lot blueberry. Of all muffins daily, but but you just said the blueberry was the king. So, you, so you're telling me how often blueberry to chocolate muffin? Give me a ratio. 
Blueberry's leading the charge for me a lot because it's my favorite muffin. Okay, out of 10 times, how many times is I honestly blueberry? think blueberry muffin might be one of the best foods ever created in the world. Blueberry muffin is excellent. I honestly... It's not going to carry your whole food group. We're talking donuts versus muffins. This We're not is how talking- confident I am in muffins. You take the lemon poppy seed, the cranberry orange. You take away the You've chocolate. You've never had you a cranberry away- orange muffin in your life. You're insane. You've there never had There was a delicatessen one. next to my old apartment that was open 24 hours. Uh-huh. They made the best cranberry orange muffin I ever had, so much so that when I went into that, establishment that was my number one muffin takeaway all right all okay right. so all don't right. tempt me with a good time <laughs> all right let's go down the list of donuts now let's just go down the list of donuts. Variety? variety you beat me i'm not talking about beat that you a beat, donut is strong for, enough a do- a, honestly a, a donut is for a hobo with a bindle on a stick or a five-year-old child and that's about it or a heaving man that's gonna die soon because he, he buys a baker's dozen and dumps or, him in his coffee and he and he and he just he just doesn't know if he's coming to go and he's been collecting social security for a long time the rest of his family died off he gets the newspaper he knows the people in his neighborhood but no one's calling no one's visiting him on the holidays he's buying dozens of donuts he's eating them in his house while he watches 60 donuts, minutes donuts donuts for the alcoholic every aa meeting array of donuts never saw a you muffin at one they're cheap never saw they're a muffin cheap. at one donuts yeah. for the for the hardened yeah. cop that's had to deal with street punks all day yeah, yeah, donuts yeah. <laughs> Donuts. Donuts. donuts at your grandmom's house. The reason, donuts. The reason. Nana doesn't put donuts out after buys, dinner. Nobody can buy a dozen muffins because it'll break the bank because a muffin commands a little bit more money because There's a lot more goes into it. Muffin. It has better ingredients. It takes a longer it's time. It's the same ingredients. Larger. No, it's not. It's the same thing. Oh, oh, you, oh, yeah. Do you put fresh fruit like cranberry, orange, lemon, yeah. blueberry? In a blueberry donut? Yes. In a lemon donut? Yes, I do. Oh, In an apple-filled donut? donut? Yes, I do. In an apple- You're going to go a Krispy Kreme and come out with a healthy donut? I, I wouldn't touch Krispy Kreme. Let me just tell you Duncan. that. Duncan, Duncan, all day, baby. Or any of your uh, any of your, uh, your artisanal donut places? I love the artisanal donut places. You're telling me that you don't like uh, like uh, like a, a grandma? If you if, uh, a quintessential grandma, you go to her house. She puts out a tray of fresh baked muffins, or she putting out donuts. Sal, this has never happened in history. Nobody's grandma has ever put out a tray of fresh baked muffins. Well, I'd like to you introduce you to a, my grandmother. A... Come on out, Graham. <laughs> You saw this in a in a Charlie Brown cartoon once, and you think that it's not real. Joe, there's there's no better. When experience is the last to time you were with somebody that baked a muffin? Be honest, be honest. Don't lie Say like again. you do sometimes. Be honest. Say again. When's the last time you were with somebody that baked muffins? I don't like how you're pointing at me, man. Good, good, good. I was with someone who baked muffins not more than two weeks ago. Really? Yes. No, you're lying. No, I'm not. You're lying. No, I am not. You're lying. My sister baked. Muffins. What kind? Assortment. All right. All right. No, no, no. No, but I'm going to say chocolate to make muffins. Donuts. She used to make Italian donuts, fried dough. She d- dropped the dough in, fried it's it, called and, a then, and then powder it. That's not a donut. Well, had a goddamn a hole donut. in the middle, so you tell me what that is, you it's stupid a, bastard. Yeah. <laughs> You know why everyone? You know why donut is a donut? You know why donuts are the choice? Because you can buy a dozen for one dollar. It's it's a dozen is for. Well, are you? No, no you can't. Yeah, I'm not letting okay. you get away with that. I, I could go into any donut shop with a five dollar bill and feed the community. Scott, Scott, who the f- is Scott? You just reminded me of Scott of a dear friend, my oldest friend of the world, Scott, <laughs> who makes me this upset when we argue about food. And he agrees with you a lot when he listens to this podcast, and it pisses me Scotty! off. Scotty, and it makes what me want to smack you both in the no. face. No, listen to me. Listen, Sal, listen to me. Sal, Five wait a second. Dollars hold on. At a, at a, at no, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I need you to calm down, and I need to say this to you. You cannot, and I can't let you get away with this lie. I frequently, frequently buy dozens or half dozens of donuts. You are not getting anywhere in a donut shop. In multitude, well, you're not getting a how a, much? A, a half dozen, dozen donuts, donuts, Dunkin' Donuts, half dozen, dozen is six bucks. Right a half dozen is six. You can't even get a half dozen for five. Well, now in 2021, maybe. Well, that's what that's when we're alive. What a are you talking donuts about? Is not twelve dollars. I will, I will, I will fight I didn't you say on that. A dozen was. I said a half dozen is six. You're not getting anywhere with five. Dunkin' Donuts menu prices. A dozen, ten dollars. A dozen for ten. Yeah, you're not getting anywhere with five dollars. You think you get? Here's the thing. Any food. That you buy by the dozen is a shit food. Oh, really? Miss Nana puts out his tray of muffins for him? That's a dozen. How many do you think is in a tray? That's a dozen. 
There's I'm a dozen saying, muffins. If you in that walk tray. into a, if you walk into an establishment and you take twelve of something, it's a it's it's a bullshit it's food. Ca- no, it's be- it's called. There's so many choices you can't even think straight. No, dude. and you have a to get twelve. A muffin is the size of a goddamn softball, babe. Yeah. And when it's fr- fresh out of the oven, and you just pluck pieces of the top off little by little, and you yeah, see the I steam am- just flying off of it, and this then you have the crunchy never outside. But this happened the- to you. You have never in your life plucked pieces off of a muffin top and watched steam come out of it. This has never happened. I do happened. that every time I have You're a muffin, You're making Joe. things Joe, up. I do that 100%. You do not. You Ooh. don't bake muffins. You couldn't even figure out how to work the coffee machine earlier. You're not baking muffins. I you don't know t- how to do it. We... We, Can we rewind the, the tape? One, the one, Can we rewind the tape? The one I giant, heat up muffins. I didn't say I baked them. When we got He's screaming at me. I never said I baked muffins ever. Rewind the tape. You said you pluck it out of the oven and watch steam escape I from s- it. No, I didn't. And yes, we can go you right did. back. I said, "How great is it eating a hot muffin?" And you pluck the piece of the top off so, to eat it. It's a crunchy outside. And you outside said you and watch steam come steam out. Come of off it. the top of the muffin. Okay, so so you're saying a microwaved muffin is is has steam coming out yeah. of it. Oh, it, it doesn't. But it does. It doesn't. Everything that comes out of the microwave has steam coming Nothing off of it. Nothing that comes out of the microwave has steam coming off of it. It's just hot. We'll it's pause just this. Hot. We will go downstairs. I own a microwave. Would ha- Luck would have it. And I could put something in and I'll... Do you want to... You know what? Do me a favor. I can prove you wrong huh. right Pimp. now. Pimp. We'll go downstairs Do right now and use Pimp. the microwave. Pimp, go to YouTube. Just go to YouTube. And I want you to on YouTube search steaming muffin. Oh Jesus! Is that what is that? Nate special? Yeah. All right, the Nate Bergazzi, ladies and gentlemen. S- just just type "steaming muffin" and see if there's a video. You go this. to Google, type "steaming muffin." You're not gonna get. No, he's at YouTube. But you're not gonna get a steaming muffin. Don't get a video. video of it. You think that you won't get a because it doesn't exist. You, you, you can't. No, not one of these. You're things. an idiot. You can't just Google steaming muffin yes, and then you can. Because there it is. There's a steaming muffin. Oh, now, that, what do you have to say for yourself? The reason I wanted the video. What do you have to say for yourself? That could be a doctored picture. <laughs> That's why I wanted video. That's why I wanted video. You're so silly, though. <laughs> if we go downstairs right now and I throw something in my my, my microwave and I heat it up and I yes. pull it out, it's going to be steaming, I Joe. Think, Sal, I think if you threw something in the microwave for 10 straight minutes, it might come out with some steam coming Joe, off it. Oh, I don't think I just can't stand a microwave for I can't a microwaving stand. a muffin for one minute does not have steam coming off of it. Steaming in a microwave lets you prepare many healthy, tasty recipes. There's a steaming, steaming. version of it. Oh my God, Joe! Why are you making a bag this? With vegetables. Now, you're, now you're arguing with me. The, uh, the, the 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 time the time limit on a microwave, which will uh, elicit. Steam. I'll do one better. I'll do one better. Do, do me a favor, pimp. I cook quite a bit. This will come up if it's a thing. How long do you have to microwave a muffin to make it steam? Type that in. What a dumb thing! It's who's, not a dumb thing. Who's putting it, that information on the? On it the internet? will come up. How long do you have Reheating to... Reheating muffins from room temperature. Microwave one muffin, 10 to 15 seconds at high. Two muffins... To, it's not saying... It's just saying to make them warm. It's not saying to make them steam. <laughs> you, you stupid ass. You think it's a website dedicated to the microwave yeah. time it takes to steam a muffin? It's so stupid There's what you're There's websites Googling. on how to build, so dumb. build bombs out of soda bottles. Wow. I mean, yeah. Uh, the yeah, there's probably a saying... Yeah, the the there's a steam muffin website somewhere. I can't somewhere. steam a muffin or a piece of food in the microwave is... Is is just insane, Joe. It's, it's insane. Not Joe, I'm, what I'm saying to you is the amount. No hold on, let me just. Say, this is what I'm saying to you, and it will make sense as soon as you let me finish it. You would have to cook the micro, the muffin in the microwave for so long for it to start to steam that it's it, you're not doing it. It would ruin the muffin, Joe. Have you ever eaten a fresh muffin that was steaming? Yes or no. no? You've never had someone take muffins right out of the oven and you eat them and they're piping now hot? Now we're talking about the oven, but not the microwave, microwave oven. oven. A hot muffin is what I'm talking about, Joe, not the method you in what You said you pull- Because I would microwave it. But, Joe, a hot muffin, I used to, in, in high school, uh, in, in the cafeteria, they made breakfast. In, they, their, their blueberry muffin where I went to high school was amazing. And we would line up and she'd pull them right out of the uh, out of the oven and we, we'd break them off, and put butter on them, they'd be piping hot with steam coming off and we'd eat them. Now, if I want to recreate that downstairs, the way in which I eat it is here nor there. I'm just talking about the sensory experience of eating the muffin. The All muffin right. is a fresh baked or heated up hot, beautiful piece of bakery goods. I don't okay? believe you. You don't eat hot that donuts. you have eaten a muffin that had steam coming out of it. I don't believe, and you do eat hot but donuts. You don't believe, hot you don't believe a common thing? 
You don't believe I've ever eaten a donut that was hot enough to have steam rise? I don't believe it. I don't know what to tell you. I don't believe it. Uh, I mean, I have fine. I I'll have, even. I'll even. This is nothing somebody, to do with my argument. As somebody, I'll even tell you, steam has never existed. As from somebody a donut. who actually bakes things at home, sometimes I, I have bake, never seen things bake, steaming coming out of the oven. It, it doesn't happen. A Duncan Hines cake, for instance, which is very similar ingredients wise to a muffin, and it If you break whatever, it open, though. If you break it, it open, it's I just talked about hot. It. Also, you have to let stuff like that sit when it comes out of the oven. You can't just rip it right open because it's got to settle. I it. didn't come here today to argue oh with you about God. steam. I, I just right, did. Listen, I just Here's did the point. It. We're Here's going the back point. and forth about steam. Let me. Let you me, go in and buy a bucket of donuts. Let me give it's you a shit food. Let me give. You it's don't think food. that though. It's fried you don't think dough. that. This is this is jelly a, a muffin, muffin is is a treat powder for the, jelly donut. A muffin is glazed a chocolate, chocolate frosted. It's all trash. Boston it's cream, trash food. apple filling, apple fritter, uh, eclair, bear claw, glazed. Are it you, goes are you, on are you, and you, on. Are and you naming on. other pastries? No, those are all donuts. A Dunkin' bear, Donuts. A bear claw is a donut? Yes. What do you mean? A bear claw is a bear claw. No, it's a donut. An eclair? It's a donut. An eclair is an eclair. You're calling an eclair a donut? Ask if the eclair is a donut, please. And, and a bear claw, too, please. You... You, so you think everything inside of a every single thing inside of a bakery is a donut? That's what you think? No, everything inside. When uh, you order when you order a, a pastry, you think that's a donut? Inside a do you just said that the Boston cream was an eclair. Uh, an eclair is a long and thin individual cake made out of pastry. I was pastry. wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. I you give needed, it when you wrong. needed me to Google that for you to know that. Are you playing wrong. games? You playing games with the listeners? No, I was you're wrong. You playing games? Look at them in the camera. Tell them you're playing games. <laughs> hey, you like to play games? Hey, hey, hey. A, cr a crumpet, for instance, is a circular pastry that's fried with a hole in the middle. Is that a donut? I, you know what? It's they're all crepes. What does it matter? No, is that a no? Mm. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Does that count? No. Or a crawler. I'm sorry, not a crumpet. A crawler. A crawler. I would consider a crawler a donut. All right. All right. Well, then great. Okay. It's a crawler. I'll put crawler on the list. But you said uh, you I, said, I said you said I was a bear wrong, claw, and I said I think a bear claw counts as a donut. A lobster claw, a bear claw. Those are those are pastries. Those are pastry show. Joe, you they are made. Hold on, just put in bear. They are pastry. made out of donut dough, making them a donut. Okay, so can we both admit when we're wrong, please? You put is bear paw. It's yeah, bear I know, claw. but it means ba shape rectangular with slices along one side to resemble Sometimes a bear's Sometimes considered toes. a donut. Well, not today. No, I said I was wrong. Say it's you're more wrong. common for bear claws to be almond flavored pastries similar to fritters in texture. Every bear you also poured up an apple fritter. Every bear claw I've ever had tastes like a glazed donut. This 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 guy. Here's what he does. Okay. No, here's what he does. Say that bear claw donut, counts. Donut. By the way, donut. Say that bear, bear claw, claw does not count, and it bear claw does will never count. count. I'm not giving you bear claw. You got to give it to me. I'm I giving don't you give back you a Claire. You, you didn't give me back a Claire. You never had a Claire. Uh, that's that's Joe, crappy. Just, donut is already the front runner in this argument. Just stick with the donut, Joe. I'm telling you, why the do you have to bring in the donut. entire pastry case? Blueberry filling donut. Yeah, you have uh, way more variety. Cream of filled donut, yes. chocolate cream filled, Bavarian cream donut. You have way more varieties of donuts. That's not what I'm. They're all delicious. There's not one bad one. There's not one do I old disagree. fashioned donut that looks the ones do you, that look do you like Gabby Coleman. You know, you know sometimes them. when everybody leaves. And the Dunkin' box is still up there, and you go over to the counter in the kitchen, and, and yeah. everybody's left. You mean coffee the most been, awesome thing ever? Co coffee has been served. You people, mean the most awesome thing ever? Gone a home. Dunkin' Donuts box being set on the table after a dinner for dessert? Yeah. Nobody has ever people, been excited by a tray gone, of muffins being laid out. People have, ever. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Those are great points you're making. No one's ever, ever. been excited by a You know when you muffin. eat a muffin? At 7 a.m. when you're like, I can't, I'm hungry, but I can't imagine putting any sort of food into my stomach that won't make me vomit right you're now. You're wrong. I would I'll have, take a, a, I would have, you have a some muffin. sort of a blueberry flavored bread, sir? I, that, I think I could handle I, that I right now. I would have now. a muffin. I'd be ready to have a muffin at a moment's notice. 10 to 1 more than I'd be ready to eat a donut at a muffin. You're Sometimes lying. people drop down donuts and I go, well, I know I can only eat one because if I have two, I'm going to go into a diabetic shock and shit unlike, my pants. Unlike, unlike the muffins that you can eat multiple of. You one muffin a, is all I need. But because it's gigantic, Sal. I, I, can you let me finish my point? Finish your point. The, the company has left. The coffee has been served. Yep. Someone left behind the, the box of donuts. Yep. It's on the kitchen counter. Yeah. I go in. I lift that up. A couple hours after someone's brought them, I go, 
Ugh. You're I don't even have mind. another donut. It's this stale residual you're out of your mind. leftover I bullshit. I keep them for days. If you're not eating a donut that just got made. Oh, stop it, Sal. Stop it. I won't I won't stand for it. <laughs> I won't stand for it. Sal, let's talk some blue chew. Say it with us, folks. Blue, blue chew. chew. Blue chew. Making waves, man. Bringing confidence into the bedroom. Why? They got chewable tablets that are going to give you stronger, longer-lasting erections. I mean, that's what it is. Process is simple. Just sign up at BlueChew.com, and they have these licensed medical providers, and they will approve it for you online, and it will be sent to you in the mail. Uh, that's the that's the best part of it. Well, yeah, you'll re- yeah you receive a prescription from the providers, and and it's within days, and it's all done online. I mean, everything online is better. Well, here the, here's the other thing: Blue Chew is made in here in the USA, and they prepare it right from here, and they ship directly from here. It's cheaper than a pharmacy. It comes in discreet packaging, which is the big one. Because if it came in like a big box shaped like a penis, yeah. your neighbors would be chitter chattering, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah, blue chews. Sildenafil and Tadalafil tablets are chewable. I don't know if I said that right, <laughs> but hell, I had a lot of fun saying those words. All right, we've got a special deal for our listeners, and you guys know it if you watch. Uh, they're going to give it to you for free for the first month. If you go and you enter the promo code TASTEBUDS at checkout, all you're going to do is pay five bucks for the shipping. That's it. That's so it. it's bluechew.com, put in the promo code TASTEBUDS, and uh, you receive the first month free. And uh, I mean, come on. I mean, it, there's nothing to really lose. It comes discreetly, you could try it out. And, and see if it's for you. Thanks, Blue Chew, for sponsoring us. Sal, do you like cereal? Yes. Do you like magic? Even more. Do you like spoons? The best thing. Well, I'm here to talk to you about magic spoon cereal. Please go. Guys like us, ladies like us, young, old, all types of people like us. Yeah. Okay? They have a hard time enjoying cereal these days, many of them. Why? You feel guilty. Sugar, guilt, yeah. carbs, empty calories. Mm-hmm. A lot of your modern-day popular diets like the keto won't allow it. That's where Magic Spoon comes in to the mix. Magic Spoon, per serving, we're talking zero grams of sugar. We're talking 13 to 14 grams of protein. And we're talking only four net grams of carbs. 140 calories per serving. Can you beat that? No. It's keto-friendly. It's gluten-free. It's grain-free. It's soy-free. It's GMO-free. It's not free. It costs money. Uh, (laughs) But... It's affordable. We've got exciting news. Magic Spoon will be releasing two amazing new flavors this month for a limited time only. I don't know how they do this. It's incredible. They've got now a cookies and cream flavor and a maple waffle flavor. On top of the old flavors, which is fruity, cocoa, frosted, peanut butter, and cinnamon. And I tried several of those, and I've also tried the blueberry, and they all were delicious, and they all taste like real cereals. They don't taste like diety, you know what I mean? And if you're listening from Canada, Magic Spoon now ships to Canada. So let's get let's get to the main, the crux of it here. I want to get them the discount. You're going to go to magicspoon.com slash taste buds to grab the new limited edition cookies and cream and maple waffle or a custom bundle that you could pick out of cereal to try today. Be sure to use our promo code taste buds at checkout to save five bucks off of your order. The offer is now good anywhere in the U.S. or Canada, but only when you use our code at checkout. That's magicspoon.com slash taste buds with the promo code taste buds. Remember, get your next delicious bowl of gluten-free cereal at magicspoon.com slash taste buds and use the code taste buds to save $5 off. Thank you, Magic Spoon, for sponsoring the episode. You know you like Dunkin' Donuts. We've talked about it. You know they're not just I don't particularly made. like them. I don't oh, particularly stop it. I don't particularly. I, I'm not look if eating a do- this good donuts. I like donuts. Stop it. But I'm, I'm but against a muffin. I'm taking a muffin. A muffin is an adult. It's an adult choice. Oh, a God. muffin is delicious. A muffin. A muffin is is a. a you, why? How could you discount muffins like this? I'm not discounting them. I'm saying they don't hold a candle to the donut. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying in the morning time you could eat a blueberry, a cranberry, or maybe a lemon. Mm-hmm. Poppy seed, and you're done. Whenever you're That's eating a dog, no nobody matter, gets no, a chocolate muffin at 8 a.m. Yes, they do. It tastes too much Everybody like, does it, Joe. Then uh, open it, your balls. It, it's my. <laughs> It's monstrous. It's like eating chocolate cake first thing in the monstrous. morning. Monstrous. What's more monstrous? To eat a, a cornbread muffin I, with your breakfast with a, with a tea? My, or to, 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 to just start eating chocolate? I eat my Boston donuts cream. at night when I have my sunglasses on. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Please. 
donut is the trash food you buy by the bucket. Honestly, anytime you're going to have a donut is a bad time. You said people won't eat a muffin. First of all, a muffin can be enjoyed anytime, but a muffin, really, if we're going to slot it somewhere, you, a muffin is in the in the morning time for the most part. You pull out a donut. I see somebody at 8 in the morning on their, on their uh, bus ride into the city or something like that, and they had a coffee, and they're eating a donut at 8 a.m. I say, well, this person's not going to be around with their family that long. I'm going to go back to an argument I've used in previous episodes or maybe future episodes because I don't know how these are being released. But I'll tell you this. You never see this on every corner in every major city in America. A muffin shop. No, but there's donut shops everywhere. There's major chains that are competing. There's you got to buy them by the dozen. Uh, what's it called? Tim... Uh, Tim Hortons, there's Krispy Kreme, there's Dunkin'. That's because you buy them by the dozen. What are you talking about? I mean, you need to, you buy them a dozen at a time. But there's never... You don't buy bagels by the dozen necessarily. Yes, you a lot do. of people buy yes, but a do. lot of people buy bagel most people buy bagels one at a time. Not true. Because they want a bagel for breakfast or something. Go to any bagel store here, people are walking in all weekend long buying them by the dozen. Muffin is an afterthought. It's a side a muffin dish. Is it's something a that's muffin, there because a muffin, eh, here it's next to the bananas. A, 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 Look at this. A, a it's donut, next to the loose a, a, bananas. A donut for the most part, a donut, a donut for the most part is just being pumped out. Like I, I got a factory. Just make massive amounts of donuts. Just dip them in a glaze. Throw some clear cream or sugar on them, and people are just shoving them into their mouths. They're not a refined food. A, a muffin, I fact. feel. A muffin, I feel. You need a recipe. You understand? You need a recipe. It's more adult. Sound. It's more this people. Is so people are more chefs and crazy. cooks. I think, put it to you this way: if 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 a chef or a, a pastry chef. That's this is so wrong. You go to the finest restaurants, and they have like uh uh uh, uh what are they called uh. Uh, periphery. Uh, uh, they have they have gourmet donuts on the menu for dessert. I've never seen a muffin on a rent menu in a nice restaurant ever, ever, literally ever. You you order donuts at a restaurant? <laughs> I said if you go to nice restaurants, they have, they donuts? have gourmet donuts yeah, okay. as a dessert. If you yes, to, they do. So the, and they wouldn't have a, that that same restaurant wouldn't have a beautiful muffin. No, they don't. A beautiful like, brunch spot wouldn't have a beautiful muffin. What is that called? Muffin. Peripherals or periphery? Uh, the 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 Joe, little French donuts. Go to a beautiful brunch place for, di for for brunch in Manhattan. You don't think they have a fresh, beautiful basket of muffins they do. they're going to give you? You're, you're missing my point. What about a cornbread muffin? You're missing muffin? my point. All right, all right, hold on, let me say... How about, how about, how about, a, wait, how about a donut? Hold on a, a donut second. has only one purpose. You just shove a sugary puck in your mouth. Hold on a second. And you let go, me counter oh, your donut. point. No, let me... A corn muffin, you can have chocolate for let sweet, me counter cornbread your point. for breakfast. Hold on a second. In between. Sal, let me counter your point. You just said that don't you're, you're I am speaking to you saying that muffins take more artisan skill than donuts do and I'm saying to you that's not true because what you can find on re, on menus in gourmet restaurants are fine dessert donuts that is a thing you'll find muffins on any brunch buffet because it's a brunch food you'll also find oranges it doesn't mean that they're a tough food to create okay it it's, takes more it, skill to make a donut i could I don't make you muffins so. i couldn't make you a donut okay you don't have the equipment yeah well okay you can make a donut real quick if you have a fryer Real quick. Oh yeah, it's yeah, fried yeah, dough, you're gonna, Joe. You're just gonna fill fried it up. Dough. You're gonna fill it up. Take with, a ride with me. Make the mixing. Take a ride with me to Target, and I'll come back tonight. You're gonna we'll make, make a the donut. filling from scratch. Let's make donuts. You're gonna, Let's make donuts. You're squeeze it. In. You're gonna Let frost me, it. Let me ask you a question. Frost me a donut. Let me ask you a question. You go downstairs and you make a donut, and and I make a muffin. Which one's gonna taste better? The muffin, because it's way easier. All you're doing is buying a batter and pouring it into a pan. Big okay. Deal. So so take away the ease of it. You just said the muffin's better. No, I didn't. I said it's gonna. T I said if I'm making a donut from scratch, you're making a muffin from scratch. The muffin will have a better chance of tasting better because it, it's simple. It's a simple recipe. It's 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 like making a pancake. Let me let me set a scene for you, okay? Okay. Let me yes. set a scene. For yeah. You. Go ahead. Okay. You walk into my home, okay? You are like, you sit down. I say hello. We exchange pleasantries, all that stuff. I put right in front of you, right in front of you, a beautiful piping hot, fresh out of the oven. Blueberry muffin. With steam, of course, coming out of it. Sure. Uh, every hole. Or yep. donut of your choice. Yep. You would not choose one-to-one, one-to-one. -to -one. The muffin's right there. The donut's right there. What time you're of day reaching, is it? You're reaching for the muffin. What time of day is it? Okay, so you're not even unanimous. You need to know the time what of day. The, I've already said many times. You eat a muffin in the morning because it's the only thing you can stomach that early, and you eat donuts at night because they're a dessert food, and they're great. Now, some people eat 
donuts in the morning. Some people eat donuts and muffins at night. But I'll tell you this, a hell of a lot more people are eating donuts in the morning than people are eating muffins at night. The texture of a muffin is so much better. The golden, crispy brown muffin top that you break open and it I gives way to a, a beautiful, moist, I hate chewy the center. Top. I like the bottom part. Of course, look, they're both great, but of course you would hate the top. The top is too crispy. I no, like it's it. not, Joe. When it's done right, I like it's when the it's best soft. of every I world. I like when it's soft and wet, a, a, sticky. The, the best muffin is better than the best donut, and that is for That's sure. Such... That's for sure, Joe. The best muffin, a thick, dense, hearty, beautiful, sweet, I know, fluffy, I know. hot muffin. You keep muffin naming the same qualities over and over. better than the donut. Donuts are bringing together flavors. Muffins don't do that. Muffins don't combine I gotta flavors. I got to be honest. If I was in a like, if I went into a donut shop and I picked like 10 donuts and you laid them out in front of me and I took one bite of each, it it's going to even if there's a variety in those donuts, they're going to start tasting the same. It's just that fried dough that stales right away. I, yes, are there gourmet the same donuts? Same thing with muffins. Are there You're gourmet? telling me no, if you I took don't... bites out of five different muffins, they're not all going to taste the same no, after the fifth no, one? No, no. Come on, Sal. That's no, because ridiculous. the base of the donut is essentially the same. The base of a muffin is essentially the same. It's that it's that yellowy cake, whatever the hell oh, it what is. What about that, that pistachio muffin? That was sick. That green one? Where? <laughs> That's a cupcake. That's a spinach muffin, too. Oh, yeah. oh we didn't even delicious. get into that type of stuff. Oh, delicious. A spinach muffin? scotch pumpkin muffin? Are you kidding me? Yeah. I'm sure you could find... Look, we could name varieties all day long here. It's not a matter of that. It's a matter of what of what of the varieties do you want Carrot to eat? Carrot cake muffin? Jam-filled muffin just like you can fill a donut? Eh. I mean... I could do a. Uh, I don't you know want what? cake you with jelly in it. A muffin can do everything that a donut could do no, it can't. and better. Oh, yes, no, it, it can. Can't. No, it it can't. checks every box that a donut checks, but no, better. Can't. Yes. You know what a muffin is? There's more flavor you know profile a muffin to a muffin, bro. Uh, this is a muffin. When you take a piece of like Wonder Bread, the white kind, and you crumple it into a ball, yeah, and it's a, a wet is. ball in the palm yeah. of your hand, and then you bite it like you did it when you were a kid, that's what a muffin is, basically. Yeah, I didn't do that when I was a kid, and that's not what a muffin is. But All right. Know. Well, it's basically... No one does that. No one thinks that a muffin is akin to balled up Wonder Bread in your palm. I do, and I just Nobody said it, that. and I'm sticking with it. What do we got here? What what is that? A spaghetti donut? Look, is look at this, it's a spaghetti donut. Is it? Look, look, look. look. <laughs> a spaghetti look, donut. Are there, are there are there artisanal gourmet donuts that are really something else out there? Of course, that people stand online for and everything. I'm just talking about what you think of when you think of a donut and what you think of when, when you think, think of, of a when muffin. I think of when a you think of a donut, you don't think of. You know, the place in Austin where okay. Voodoo or whatever, where everyone's lined That's around the corner I'm I'm, and they're I'm, paying $7 I, I, a donut. I in, I'm talking about I came the donuts the, we grew up on and go to muffins Dunkin that donuts. we grew up go to Dunkin on. I, I go Dunkin' Donuts all day, every day. I love Dunkin' Donuts. And I'll tell you something. You want to ask me what I think of? Here's what I think of when I think of a donut. I think of beautiful little trays behind the counter, and I get to see all types of different flavors, and all the flavors excite me because I see fruits and chocolates and vanillas and frostings and fillings and jellies and custards. And you know what I think of with a muffin? Uh, I don't know if I'm regular this week. Maybe I need some bran. That's what I think of with no, a muffin. Be, well, That's I'm what glad I that think you brought of. the bran muffin into it because I wasn't even talking about the bran muffin. But a bran uh, muffin can a, help keep yeah, you what regular. A, what a joy what ride. What donut does that? What a joy ride. What donut does that? A so you're, so you're, you're giving the yeah, donut. That's like saying so like Metamucil gave, versus Orange me, Crush. You just gave the muffin another facet. Another facet oh my in my God. argument. What do you mean, Joe? I can give a corn muffin, which can also be had with barbecue and southern food in a savory meal. No, cornbread. Not a corn muffin. It's very, it's, no, I mean, no, it's the no, same no, thing. No, 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 It is. No, 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 no. Oh, I hate when he does the no, no, no. No, no cornbread. <laughs> cornbread. Cornbread is not a corn, corn muffin. Cornbread is a corn muffin. Corn. No, it corn is not. Meal. It's made from the same shit. Sal, I uh, I don't know if that I can speak for you, but I think that I probably know you well enough that I could speak for both of us to say that we are creatures of habit. That's right. Uh, habits are tough to break. Habits right. are tough to change. And that's what I like about our newest sponsor, Noom. Noom is a habit change program that uses psychology to teach you how your mind works why so you can understand the decisions you make why you make them and feel empowered to change for the better noom you can you can pick the goals that are right for you it's not telling you you got to do this you got to do that you got to do this over here you got to do that over right, there right 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 it's letting you pick what feels right for you whether it's feeling better in your clothes having some more stamina to keep up with maybe a busy lifestyle being in tune with your body's needs practicing more self-care 
You pick, and Noom personalizes a program to help your aspirations become a reality. So, Maybe you want to eat better to feel better. Uh, maybe you want to, again, have more energy. Maybe you want to enjoy exercising again. Maybe you want to feel good about your choices. Maybe you want an improved sense of self-worth or, or, or mood or less stress or less anxiety. This is what Noom's going to help you It's with. all sounding great. It sounds fantastic. Noom, N-O-O-M, okay, based in psychology, Noom teaches you why you do the things you do. It empowers you with the tools to break the bad habits and replace them with better ones, okay? Everyone's busy. That's why Noom doesn't demand much of your time. They ask for 10 minutes a day to complete this. There's a science to getting healthier. It's, it's called Noom. That's what I wanted to say. That's what uh, you want to say. Sign up today for a trial at Noom, N-O-O-M. That's Nancy com slash taste buds. There's a science to getting healthier, and it's called Noom. Sign up for your trial today at Noom, N-O-O-M dot com slash taste buds. What do you have to lose? Visit Noom.com slash taste buds to start your trial today. That's Noom, N-O-O-M dot com slash taste buds to sign up for your trial today. Come on, dude. No, if it, you son of a bitch. If an eclair is not a donut, there is no way that cornbread is a corn muffin. All I'm saying is if I give you a bite of corn muffin and a bite of cornbread, you're going to be like, I think I just bit the same thing. You would say the same thing about an eclair and a the, donut. Well, that is a decent point. <laughs> corn muffins and corn... Okay, people often use the term corn muffins and cornbread muffins interchangeably when trading recipes and cooking. Corn muffins refer to an actual muffin recipe. Cornbread muffins refer to a cornbread, how a cornbread yeah, is shaped. It's saying cornbread muffins. It's not saying cornbread. Uh, go into any barbecue place in Texas. They're not handing you a cornbread muffin. They're handing you a slice of cornbread. It's, t- it's different. It's two different things. It's made with cornmeal, but it's the same thing. So, yeah, fine, 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 fine. My, my point is, though, don't, is that you bought you a brand. What you're doing? And so I'm saying now now you're showing versatility of the muffin, right? There's a brand muffin, help keep you regular. There's a corn muffin, which can be had for breakfast or very so, similarly alongside a savory meal. Nobody is eating then muffins you have a outside chocolate muffin, of which is more of a dessert. Time. That's not Nobody true. Nobody who, besides you, Besides you and these, you mysterious, can eat a muffin whenever you want. These mysterious muffin people that you, you seem can eat to a muffin know. whenever you want. Who, who is eating? Who is eating muffins outside of breakfast time? Who? There's a famous Seinfeld episode where the guy's eating a muffin. I'm waiting for him to finish. Then he orders a sandwich, and they said he's eating a sandwich now. And then Jerry goes, "You know, a muffin can be very filling." <laughs> and that that guy's at a diner eating a muffin as a meal. <laughs> I mean, I could give you more examples, but I only just <laughs> right. I only uh, just cited the most famous sitcom of all right. time. You, you're right. The side the, the you, and it couldn't be that they were doing a quirky. thing. Thing on they Seinfeld. sell muffin tops as just muffin tops because the muffin tops are so good. And that's, I'm not even that's talking Seinfeld. Stolen from Top Seinfeld. of the muffin to you. It's I wasn't stole, even talking about Seinfeld. It's stolen from no, Seinfeld. No, it's not. It already existed. They, no, even, sell it, it, they even sell it prepackaged. No, it didn't muffin already exist. Muffin tops are already a thing. It didn't exist. Muffin top it was McDonald's. an episode of Seinfeld. Muffin tops by Ego. It was an episode of Seinfeld that they copied because, of, because no. it was a popular episode of Seinfeld. You're wrong. I'm not wrong. Muffin, muffin tops. Elaine makes it up on Seinfeld. She has the idea for the store. No. That's her idea. Idea. No, no, no. They, they, that was around before Seinfeld. Seinfeld no, didn't it invent, wasn't. invent just making a muffin top. They did not. <sighs> Jesus. Uh, you're, Go to you're, muffin you're tops so Wikipedia. wrong. Muffin top, Australian slang in mid-2003. No, uh, that's not uh, that. Slang, sorry, sorry. When, when did, where did muffin... Scroll up to the yeah. top. The muffin tops, Wikipedia. No, that's that's no, but this is the, but this will probably have trivia in it and say, you know, yeah, they, they became a thing after this or whatever, or maybe they won't. I don't know. It's it's, it's worth a try. I, well, so, I don't know. What muffin to... tops were not a thing. It was because of Seinfeld. Come on, you know that, man. You know that. I don't. I don't know. Look, the top hits now are the episodes of Seinfeld. The the food itself isn't even coming up. Well, that's 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 not that still doesn't prove anything. You're saying it doesn't support my argument. Well, whether it does or doesn't, Joe, that's the whole point. I'm the saying- Seinfeld writers put it on, and then it became a thing in the world because that's how good it is, okay? So you want to want me to tell you that Seinfeld created- You I really? It couldn't be I, that they were I, trying I, to cash hate, in on the biggest sitcom of all time. I, I hate that, we, like, I, I don't like to go off things that I can't prove, but I will tell you that it doesn't matter because now that is permeated society and the muffin top is a thing anyway, okay? okay? So, Even though we it, couldn't find it's it when we Googled it. it stands it. on its own two feet, the yeah, muffin top. But we Googled it, we couldn't find it. Where uh-huh. are we at time-wise, Big Pimp? All right, let's go. Wow, and this whole episode was straight debate. We started immediately. Did we? Yeah, yeah, no mm. lead-in. All right, let's go to the tweets. 
Muffins are a crumbly mess. You can never go wrong with I a love donut. A, I love that about Thank a muffin. Thank you, Colleen. I love muffin being crumbly. Muffins are naked. Wait, let's see, Colleen. Second. Muffins are naked cupcakes of sadness. Thank you, that's, Colleen. No, that's, oh, you're reading two from the same person? Donuts. How do you beat those 1980s Dunkin' Donuts commercials with Fred the Baker saying, time to make the donut? Time to make the muffins. Doesn't have any ring to it. He worked, but it was a donut commercial. And culturally doesn't mean getting up and getting things done. That's a great point. Yeah, but that's... What? Oh God! I that became this. a term for getting your yes, work but done. It, yeah, I know, but that doesn't mean jack shit. So let me get this straight: when it's born out of Seinfeld, it's it's important and it me and it speaks to the quality of the food. When it's born out of donut commercials, it doesn't mean anything. No, but that was a donut commercial. Of course, they're gonna say time to make the donuts, and that became a cliche in American culture where it meant which time to get up and make your money as far as which is done. better. I'm just telling you, and the you're muffin saying top that muffin can stand tops on mean long, they're better song. because Seinfeld did an episode no, that people copied. No, I'm the one who said they didn't copy it from the Seinfeld. Hypocrisy! It's not. I, it's, it's you're you're taking my words and twisting them. I'm not twisting them. I said them. I don't even like to to put it on the Seinfeld because I'm not sure if that's true. But they can stand on their own, whether it was Seinfeld or not. Right. They exist because they can stand on their own. Do me a favor. Yeah. Read a couple tweets before the pummeling happens. Okay. Here. I mean, a donut is the ultimate treat. A muffin's that thing you have at breakfast in your hotel when you get up late and miss buffet. I don't agree. Yeah. Donuts nobody's easy. Gonna, yeah. If I'm going to indulge in a baked good, <laughs> I'm going all out. I've seen this many for one side. Scroll. Not one pro Scroll. muffins one yet. <laughs> Donuts. Wait, it's muffins. Okay. There you go. I one. can't express how easy a decision this is. Muffins are moist and beautiful and don't need to hide behind icing or glaze. Corn muffins, nothing donuts. can beat That's a what corn the plain muffin donut ever. Is. Sal, please be for muffins. You know I am, Bucky Barnes. Nothing can beat a corn Scroll. muffin ever. This person is wait, putting, wait, 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 wait. This, this person put corn muffin above blueberry, Sal. That's who's on your team right now. I'm saying, guessing no. Joe is arguing for muffins because they can be topped with turkey in his jacked up reality. <laughs> you, right. they're getting to know you. All right. Well, they're not picking muffins, though, are they? Whichever one of you picked muffins to defend, I'm worried about your Thank mental you. health. A muffin is an icingless... Oh, enough with the icingless cupcake, okay? Everybody well, says it's that. It's easy, easy, easy answer easy. is donuts, the right answer, but the right answer is muffins. Good muffin can actually blow your mind. A good donut isn't different than a bad donut. Not true. Still, though, more or less a vote for donut. Okay, at first I was conflicted because muffins and donuts are so different. But the more I think about it, muffins are hands down the winner. Savory, sweet, can go with any meal. I love myself a good donut, but when I want to feel like I'm treating myself, muffins are the way oh, to go. Oh, you know what? Let's throw back to an old episode too, Sal. You know what goes on top of donuts that you love so much? Go back. Here. You know what goes on top of donuts you love so much? Bacon. You ain't finding a bacon muffin out Never there, big boy. Okay, this is a hard one. I'm going to have to go with muffins. The only muffin I don't like is lemon poppy. There's more donuts I don't like than I do. Custard filled is filled is disgusting. Okay, so he's not only... Looks like baby he's only knocked one of He's not only knocked one of your favorite muffins, he's knocked the greatest donut of all time that we have agreed on. Donuts for the win... Uh, which is better donuts. Yesterday I bought... <laughs> That's our winner. That's our winner. <laughs> Yesterday, I bought a cock and balls donut and enjoyed it more than any muffin ever. <laughs> we can scroll a little more, a little more. Can we scroll a little more? Uh, let me just get more here. You, wait, you people are absolutely nuts. Muffins are simply better than donuts in damn near every way. A donut is good typically, but a great one is hard to come by. I agree, man. Uh, just I, we know just you pound agree. for That's pound. That's how the show a, works. Pound for pound, a muffin is going to be better than a donut if you're just grabbing them out of this a bag. This should be a large win for donuts. Anyone who said muffins needs to be evaluated psychology or launched into the sun. That's okay. our winner. Dominic Orsini. Dominic Orsini is no. our winner. Go back out one sec. Uh, lather the muffin in butter and it's heavenly throw the donuts in the trash unless they're fresh i mean you know that's what i'm saying a donut goes stale so quick dude if i don't I that's not true that's not i, I will not allow that argument because it is right. not true you, you got, you're, you're, in a, you, you're in a green room you're in a green room and there's a basket of muffins in a box of donuts so if you leave any bread-based whatever you want to call it whether it's a piece of bread whether it's a roll whether it's a look at me whether it's a piece of cake whether it's a muffin whether it's a donut out on a countertop 
in the air for hours on end, it's going to get gross. If you package it properly and put it into the box or whatever, it does not go bad. A muffin is so much more fun to eat. You pull down. Uh, that, you that's pull down, down. That's, that's I, not I, what you. But that's you not what down, the point you was. You pull down a little little cupcake. Uh, but that's not what the point you pull was. Pull the skirt, a little but skirt off of it. <laughs> you see the ridges. The it, it maintains the moisture. Then you start picking it off. You're getting chunks of blueberry. Are you ready? Chunks of chocolate. You're getting you're getting beautiful b- b- melted that's not butter. What the point you, is. Oh, you know, Counterpoint you know the point. A, a bite of a donut is the same bite from the beginning to the end. You take a true. bite, you're getting the same. That's not true. Taking a bite, jelly donut. Nothing more exciting than the first. You get the first couple non-jelly bites, and that one where that jelly explodes. The non-jelly is awesome. bite is the place where. Oh, stop it's like it! You're nuts. You're, it's just, you're out of your the mind. The non-jelly bite is disgusting. Dominic underscore uh, Dominic underscore Orsini. Follow him. He's our winner. D O M I N I C underscore O R S I N I. Anyone who said muffins, a muffin, a muffin. Needs, anyone who says muffins needs to be evaluated psychologically no, or launched no. into the sun. No, a muffin is a refi- <laughs> more of a refined food for people that appreciate food and tastes yeah. and the process of baking. Listen, than a donut. I don't. I just don't agree. I, I think I, more we understand. people. I think. I think it's a more mature food. We a donut is You've just, said it. A You've donut, said all this. A donut is. Look, I got ten bucks. I got to show up with something. You've said all I this. I got to show up with something. <laughs> You've a said do- all a this. Donut, a donut is when I don't care enough to think a little bit past I don't donuts the first thing is like cheap easy fast throw, throw 10 of those just throw a dozen of those oh, in the yeah, box yeah. No, I gotta show up I, I don't wanna look like an Sal, asshole you're flailing right now no I'm not I don't know why repeating every point you've already made three times makes I you just think, think you're gonna somehow muffin, gonna win this you're a not muffin gonna, is, I understand you think a muffin's a muffin better is like royalty yeah. compared to a peasant to donut okay that's okay. what I feel I'll remember like. that next that's time I'm eating donuts like. around you by the way the experience of eating a muffin is so great you know, okay. you peel off the doily. Okay, you break again. it apart from the top. How many times you are you going to repeat these same points? I gotta, I gotta. You know, what I gotta do with the donut. How many donut? times are you gonna I repeat these same points? I hold the donut in wax paper so the, for the rest of the day, my hands don't feel Sal, like I'm a. F- yeah, you okay. are such a. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta hold it in wax paper. Otherwise, your hands are oh, sticky, God, sugary God mess. Uh, what? And then what? And then you go like this, and now your face right. is sugary. Can we just? See, can we just? Can we launch him into the sun? Donuts Let's are launch for slobs, him. you big slob. Let's launch him into the Donuts sun. Donuts are for no. I, I don't want you to get your manicure dirty, sweetheart. Yeah. Eat it with wax paper. Let's right. see who won. I don't care what this says. Yeah, I know. Eighteen thousand votes. He's, Muffins yeah. are better than donuts. I don't even care what this says. Okay, all right. You have to care because that's how the show works. That's where we're at. This is the big vote. Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! 79.5% to 20.5 donuts! Oh my god! <laughs> Maybe be a 6535. Oh, like I've never eaten another donut in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. No. Oh Is my it god. That? It's been that way the whole time. Oh Holy man. Shit. Four to one. Four to one preferred donuts. I still love you, buddy. I still love you, but no no no. no. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Let it go. This is ridiculous. <laughs> all I can tell you is I still so, I can tell you. Stop. Stop. I want to say something about the We made an agreement on how the show ends. We made an agreement on how the show ends. All I'm saying is that one out of four people have a refined palate. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. I still love you, buddy. I love you, too. All right. That's our show, folks. Tune in. Subscribe. Hit that like button on YouTube. Follow us on YouTube at No Presh Network. Uh, no, I mean subscribe, <sighs> subscribe on YouTube. Let me take this. Yeah, puppet. go ahead. Can I go tell ahead. you something? I would like Sorry, to I'm revisit from the victory. I would like to revisit this. I would like to do blueberry muffin versus Boston cream donut. I would like to do that head to head. Oh, I have no interest because yeah, okay. Because what's happening here is the variety of donuts held you afloat. We you go one on one with me, babe. One on one, blueberry donut versus Boston this. cream. Have you ever blueberry heard muffin such versus a Boston sore cream. loser? It's not sore. I just have a point to make. Percent. I have a point to make. It's over. Blueberry muffin versus Boston cream donut. If this was boxing, donut. you'd be Apollo Creed dead in the ring right now. Bl- blueberry muffin. Somebody screaming, throw the damn towel from over blueberry the rope. Blueberry muffin versus Boston cream donut. I think blueberry muffin wins that. I don't disagree. 
agree with that, but that wasn't the argument. The mm. argument was donuts versus muffins. Man, I don't know. Okay. All right, look. Yeah. Handle the plugs. We're done. It's Please over. Share. I'm, I'm plugging. <laughs> well, it look, you Please keep... share the show if you like it. We need to get the word out. Uh, dude, this is my camera here. I, I'm down just oh, I'm sorry. I'm going I'm off sorry. the top I'm sorry. of the I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> oh, I love you. Want people can pay for money for those curls? I'm not making a joke. It's not a perm. My dad has the same hair. Snatch. All right, babe. It's snatch. Snatch. Okay. Listen, <laughs> you might be watching us on uh, the YouTube No Pressure Network. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Otherwise, we're on audio. We're on Spotify. We're on iTunes. Give us a follow. Rate us. Share us, please. Uh, we got the No Pressure uh, TikTok going. If you are a, a cool hip jazzy kid that's on uh, TikTok. Mm-hmm. Uh, what am I saying? We're, ha- we're, we're having our first ever. Uh, no, well, that's, uh, that's not for here. We did, we did yeah, a we did that promo. already. We're oh, on we're Instagram. Yeah. Follow us. Hey, babe, pod, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, I mean, just, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you know, some days, you know, are better than other days. And uh, oh, Look, you just went up 0.1%. All right, shut it down then. <laughs> shut it down if he's going to be like this. Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic, I'm talking taste buds. Taste buds, if you don't watch your purse, they'll take your pay stub. Taste buds, taste buds, better put on your boots, make sure they're laced up. What does that have to do with it?